on. Well, in the meantime, let's talk about the Peacocks. They're from St. Petersburg, or from St. Peter's, and they no doubt are the Cinderella story right now in the NCAA tournament. So they're now in Philly getting ready to take on Purdue in the Sweet 16 tomorrow night. The Peacocks pulled off two upsets at Gainbridge Fieldhouse last week. And today our Rich and I learned that, you know what, there is another Peacock here in Indianapolis <laughs> with a name that was made famous during March Madness decades ago. Larry Bird. He is my buddy. A peacock named Larry Bird. And he just likes to hang out here at City Ranch. <laughs> Hi, Larry. The petting zoo on the far west side of Indy offers traveling pony parties and farm animal encounters. We pitched Larry up at a little flea market. And the previous owners didn't care for his colors, and I fell in love. So nine-year-old Larry is sort of a Cinderella story like the St. Peter's peacocks. He's called a pie-eyed. There's several different colors. White is a little bit unusual. Uh, so uh, he's not very, he's not real common in his personality or in his color. Uh, he does spread his wings when he is in the mood. A basketball did not put Larry in the mood, but another peacock, Kiwi, spread out his feathers to impress the peahen or just get some camera time. I heard plenty of other bird calls at City Ranch, but Larry offered no pregame peacock trash talk before Friday's matchup against the Boilermakers. That's kind of, and it is a little bit loud, but it's only in the spring and in the falls when they do their mating call. Sounds like some mating March Madness. As for basketball? Maybe one day I can teach him how to shoot some hoops. I'm not quite <laughs> sure. <laughs> but he's looking at that basketball like he might want to do something with it. <laughs> oh boy, okay. So I gotta get this straight. So is the white one female and the colorful one male? No, the white one is also male. Only the ah. males have the feathers that spread out to show off for the ladies. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. the color, because right, this exactly. is just white. Right. But pretty, that white was really pretty. And of course, in any silly story like this, yeah. we have to have the animal pick a winner, right? Okay. Okay, so here we go. We asked Larry Bird to peck a winner. <laughs> we enticed him with some food. Larry thought long and hard about his choice. He considered the matchups. Okay, be the careful, seeds. Larry. He set aside his bird bias and his home state allegiance, and Larry eventually pecked a winner. But uh, this is just a cliffhanger tease. Oh, oh no! come on! What? Okay, Which what did you pick? You got to tune in on Sunrise tomorrow oh, morning. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, my gosh, I set my alarm now. Larry Bird pecked as the winner in the matchup <laughs> tomorrow night between Purdue and St. Peter's. Rich, you came all the way here just so to you could do that. that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just you put pecking on, your... on you today. <laughs> oh, okay. You, you were my up. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> were. were. Noted. <laughs> and you yes. have a Boilermaker. You better hope he, uh, you know. Oh, God. Oh, look at this cock. <laughs> right I'm going to be hearing this all night long now. <laughs> we are proud of the peacocks around here at NBC, yeah, right? Yes. That's true. That's NBC. true. I got yeah, you, yes. Angela. Just that one. Yes. Yes. To that one. Yes. I guess I'll say yes to that one. Peters. Okay. Thank you very, very much, Richard. Sure. A little levity here.